When you're just starting out with SwiftUI, you get this code. It's common to then modify the text view with a background color and expect it to fill the screen. Dot background, color, dot red. However, that doesn't happen. Instead, we get a small red text view in the center of the screen and a sea of white beyond it. This confuses people and usually leads to the question, how do I make what's behind the view turn red? Let me say this as clearly as I can. For Swift UI developers, there is nothing behind our view. You shouldn't try to make that white space turn red with weird hacks or workarounds, and you certainly shouldn't try to reach outside of SwiftUI to do it. Now, right now at least, there is something behind our content view called a UI hosting controller. It's the bridge between UIKit, Apple's original iOS framework, and SwiftUI. However, if you start trying to modify that, you'll find your code no longer works on Apple's other platforms, and in fact might stop working entirely on iOS at some point in the future. Instead, you should try to get into the mindset that there's nothing behind our view. What you see is all that we have. Once you're in that mindset, the correct solution is to make the text view take up more space, to allow it to fill the screen rather than being sized precisely around its content. We can do that by using the frame modifier, passing in dot .infinity for both its maximum width and maximum height. So we'll say dot .frame, max width dot .infinity, max height dot .infinity. Using max width and max height is different from using width and height. We're not saying the text view must take up all that space, only that it can. If you have other views around, SwiftUI will make sure they all get enough space. By default, your view won't leave the safe area, but you can change that by using the edges ignoring safe area modifier, like this. Dot edges ignoring safe area, dot all. 